The family of Candy Brown Morris faced the unimaginable DNA confirmation that the 28-year-old missing for more than nine months is indeed dead. It's very disappointing. I'm planning, hoping that it wasn't, but the reality is that it is, we have to deal with it. David Morris is speaking out now that authorities have confirmed that the remains found in a wooded area at County Line Road and Chandler Avenue belong to his missing wife. He recounted the events that took place when Candy Brown Morris went missing on the evening of Saturday, August 25th of last year. She came home, we went to the grocery store, we cooked, and she got a call from her boss to come back to work to do some paperwork. She left and went to work. and. That was the last time I seen my wife. Candy worked for a car company, then called Auto Couture along East Michigan Boulevard. But that's not where she was last seen. Morris says his wife was actually last seen by Tyrone Harris, who has admitted that Candy dropped him off near the area of Pleasant and Carroll Avenues around 1 a.m. Morris says he knew his wife was in a relationship with Harris before she went missing. But Moms on a Mission founder Christine Salzer says police are still investigating. Michigan City Police Department has yet to name a suspect. They have yet to name a cause of death and they have yet to release the autopsy results. So we're really just kind of in a holding pattern waiting on that. Earlier in the investigation, a relative located Candy's vehicle at Three Sheets Bar on West Barker Avenue. The web of events still are unclear to Morris, who admits that his wife's history with drugs could have played a role in her death. Maybe she was on her way home and saw someone she knew. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Candy's mother, Susan Griffin, tells a different story. She is implicating Morris for her daughter's disappearance and death and claims he told police she was his alibi when she was not. Me and him stayed up until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And he went to bed. Did he ever leave the house? That's a good question. That's their opinion. Everyone has one. Her children will not have an appropriate place to visit their mother for the years to come. Um, her mother will have a spot to go and grieve, um, which is nice. No one deserves to be left in the woods. Souser says a memorial service is in the works. Until then, police are still investigating Candy's death. In Michigan City, Renette DuBose, Lakeshore News.